Lal Keshav Thakre, a thin-built, frail-looking man whose strength lay hidden in the power of his pen. As a journalist, his articles significantly influenced thought in contemporary society. But the real Thakre was brought alive through his cartoons. Pal Thakre's father, Keshav Sitaram Thakre, was one of the principal leaders of Sayukta Maharashtra movement. He was also part of anti-Brahminism movement. He was a non-traditionalist and even in the field of education, he shunned the traditional methods. The result was that Bal Thakre never got any traditional form of school or college education. Bala Sahib's father worked for a cinema company and that was where Bala Sahib saw the works of the famous English cartoonist David Lowe. Seeing those cartoons, Bala Sahib decided to become a cartoonist himself. The young Bal Thakre first worked with Navyug and then with the Free Press Journal. In those days, he would often fight with the owners of the newspapers and quit his job in a huff and then be coaxed to join back. Finally, he and some others got together for a newspaper by the name of New Day. But Bal Thakre never got along with his South Indian counterparts. Finally, on August 13, 1960, riding the wave of the Samyukta Maharashtra movement, he and his brother Shrikant Thakre began a magazine named Marmik. That was the era when the demand for a separate state for Marathi speakers was gaining momentum and unknown to all, the features of Shiv Sena began incubating within the pages of the journal Marmik. सब कार्टून जिन बहुत सारे कार्टूनिस्ट के साथ नहीं है वो उनके पास थी इसके वजह से वो अपील बहुत जल्दी पर झट से हो जाती थी मार्मिक रोड द सेंटिमेंट्स ऑफ द टाइम्स एंड बिगन प्रोजेक्टिंग इटसेल्फ एस नॉट ओनली द माउथपीस बट एस द आर्बिट्रेटर ऑफ मराठी सेंटिमेंट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मराठी स्पीकिंग स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र डिड नॉट हेल्प मच the capital, then still called Bombay, was a colourful city where Marathi expectations came up hard against the wall of cosmopolitan reality. Discontent began to rise, just as people from across the country kept pouring to the city, the commercial capital of the country. And the jobs went to the deserving, irrespective of their regional identity. Marmik used this condition to its advantage and began to dominate the conscience of the Marathi-speaking majority. Bal Thakre and his cartoons began targeting the perceived villains in the piece. Many a socialist and a communist leader became subjects of Bal Thakre's cartoons. Bal Thakre hit upon a great way to connect with the Marathi Manus, particularly the unemployed youth among them. Bal Thakre began printing the names of non-Marathi people employed in Mumbai's big banks and companies in the city. Underneath the list would be printed Read this and keep your calm. Gradually, Marmik began to gain in popularity. People began to listen to what Bal Thakre had to say. Everywhere he went, people sought his opinion. Father Keshav Thakre perhaps realized this hidden potential in his son and advised Bala Sahib to form a political organization. In Marmik, an advertisement came out inviting Marathi speakers to become members of a new organization. On 19th of June 1966, Bal Thakre's organization came into being with 20,000 founding members. Bal Thakre's father christened the newly formed entity as the Shiva Sena. A few months later, on the day of the Shara, at Shivaji Park in Mumbai, Shiva Sena held its first public rally. On the stage was present Adik Rao, who would later go on to become one of the bigger leaders of Maharashtra politics. Shivusena was in 1966, but I think that the day that they started the war, Shivusena was the foundation work. What are you doing so much? What are you doing so much? Some of their union, so Bala Sahib has answered what to do. So they said, they need to do something quickly, so they need to do something quickly. आदमी आ रहे हैं तरस रहे हैं अपने हकों के लिए तो नाम भी प्रबोधन का ठाकरे ने दिया शिवसेना बाल ठाकरे प्रोजेक्टेड द शिवसेना एस द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट वुड फाइट फॉर द राइट्स एंड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द मराठी पीपल 
And as the first target of his campaign against non-Marathis, Bal Thakre chose the South Indian residents of Mumbai. Bal Thakre initially thought that he would stay away from politics and involve his organization only in social service. But he soon realized that for the Shiv Sena to be able to be vehicle of change, it needs to fight and win elections. In the 1968 Mumbai municipal elections, Shiv Sena entered the electoral fray. Bal Thakre was still not confident of going it alone and so formed an alliance with the socialists. Thakre aligned the Shiv Sena with the Praja Samajwadi party and its leader Madhu Dandwate. But the election results were an eye-opener. The Shiv Sena won 42 seats and Praja Samajwadi party just got 11. The alliance between the socialists and the Shiv Sena had always been doomed to failure and the partnership soon fell apart. But this was just the beginning of the domination of Bal Thakre and his politics of confrontation and contradictions in Mumbai. <laughs> Many a time would history repeat itself. Over successive years and with multiple partners, the Shiv Sena would form short-lived alliances only to break it off when they were at an advantage. Not only did the right-wing Sena form alliances with mainstream parties like the Congress and the Socialists, but there was a time when it even had an alliance with the Muslim League. It was only much later that the Shiv Sena and the BJP had a political partnership that stood the test of time. The Shiv Sena under Bal Thakre's guidance gained in strength in the Mumbai Thane region. In fact, it was the rise of the Shiv Sena that completely eradicated the one strong influence of the communists from the city of Mumbai. <laughs> और उस आवाज से उनके मार्गन से ने बहुत ही बड़े बड़ा मेरे में बदल हुआ और मैं सोचा कि अभी अपन सिंसेना ही शामिल होना है और बाहर साहब को भी साथ देना है। The assassination of Krishna Desai, the communist MLA from Parel, threw the entire state into a tizzy. The needle of suspicion fell on the Shiv Sena. Even Bal Thakre was thought to have been in some way connected with the plot. That the police found nothing that they could pin on him. Similarly, in another case of an attack on the office of the Communist Party, no evidence could be produced against the suspected Sena members. Bala Sahib's influence kept growing in Mumbai. His Senics were ever ready to carry out attacks and resort to violence whenever Bal Thakre so ordered. Bala Sahib was arrested in connection to a riot in Dadar and had to spend a month in jail. But this was perhaps the first and last time that any state government in Maharashtra found the political will to put this founder of Shiv Sena behind bars ever again. The only time Bal Thakre and his Shiv Sena kept a low profile was during the emergency years. In fact, in a surprising turnaround, the Sena was seen as to be supportive of the very same Congress that they had time and time again accused of stealing the rights of the Marathi Manus. This didn't go down well with the traditional supporters of the Shiv Sena. When emergency was lifted and elections announced, the Shiv Sena got a drubbing at the hustings. Bal Thakre's Sena paid the price of having been supportive of the Congress. Even in its stronghold of Dadar, the Sena was routed. This defeat shook the Sena to its core. Some Sena leaders began to doubt the decision-making capability and the leadership quality of Bal Thakre. They doubted whether he would actually be able to lead the organization. But as always, the general was supported by his full soldiers. The rank and file of Shiv Sena stood firmly behind Bal Thakre. Bala Sahib himself has never openly commented about support in the Congress party. In Mumbai, the Shiv Sena continued to dominate and at times have seemed to extend tacit support to the Congress. In the past, the Sena has supported Congress candidate Murli Deora for the mayorship of Mumbai. Not just this, 
In the 1982 mill workers strike in Mumbai, the Sena opposed the strike. The Congress government at the time wanted to minimize the influence of the popular labor leader Datta Samanta and Bala Saheb's opposition to the strike proved beneficial for the Congress. But by then, Bal Thakre had begun to understand that support in the Congress came at the expense of his Marathi vote. And so it was time for another world fuss. He used this very same strike as the excuse to break relations with the Congress. Congress party ne bhi unka use kya, unka istemal aise tarah kar ke liya ki us zamane mein 70s mein, 60s ke end mein aur 70s mein bahut hi strong unions thi Mumbai mein, Marxist, Communist sab logon ki, wo todne ka kaam Shiv Sena ne kiya aur aaj to sabko maloom ki Bharatiya kamgar Sena hai. तो 85 के बाद उन्होंने हिंदुत्व की लाइन ली लेकिन अपना मराठी बाणा जो बोलते हैं मराठी अस्मिता वो उन्होंने कभी नहीं छोड़ी ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम द अदर बिग रीजनल सैट्रैप इन महाराष्ट्र शरद पवार वाज आल्सो आउट ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी ही हैड फॉर्म द समाजवादी कांग्रेस एंड अलोंग विद बाल ठाकरे एंड द फायर ब्रांड सोशलिस्ट लीडर जॉर्ज फर्नांडिस दे लॉन्च देयर अटैक ऑन द कांग्रेस पार्टी Bal Thakre and his Shiv Sena were now firmly branded as an anti-Congress setup. Bal Thakre had always been a master at making a mountain out of a political molehill. Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Pandit Pant, Maulana Azad, Sagrana Dhadu, Ishara Dilao. In 1985, he used an innocuous statement by the then Maharashtra Chief Minister Vasant Dada Patil and used it to his extreme advantage at the BMC polls. That year, for the first time, the Shiv Sena won majority on its own and controlled the Mumbai municipality. Next on Bal Thakre's agenda was to spread his wings out of the Mumbai Thane region and to expand the influence of his party. He began to adapt the Hindutva agenda to suit his Marathi agenda. <laughs> तुम्ही कुणबी आहात तुम्ही मराठा आहात का कोणी असा महाराष्ट्रात आम्ही मराठी आहोत आणि हिंदुस्थानामध्ये आम्ही हिंदू आहोत ही आमची व्यापक भूमिका आहे अँड इट वॉज इज वन टाइम कॉम्रॅड शरद पवार हु गेव बाला साहेब द ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू इन्क्रीज इज इन्फ्लुएन्स शरद पवार हॅड बाय दिस टाइम रिटर्न टू काँग्रेस फोल्ड अँड सो द वोटर इन महाराष्ट्र हॅड बीन लेफ्ट विथ अ वॉइड वेन इट केम टू बीइंग अपोज टू द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ द काँग्रेस it was bal thakre and his shiv sena that jumped in to fill in this gap they became the alternative to the congress in maharashtra congress hai ya aur koi party hai wo puri sthapit party thi wahan jo hai vyakrin to hona chahiye andar kisko lene ke liye ya kuch kaam uthane ke liye to ye nayi party ban gayi to nayi party mein to log chahiye the pura total 100% vacuum tha 100% jagah khali thi तो जो भी नया 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 आदमी आया नया नया शख्स आया लड़का आया उसको जो जगह मिलती गई बाय दिस टाइम द इश्यू ऑफ हिंदुत्व वॉज गेनिंग ग्राउंड अक्रॉस द कंट्री द बीजेपी हैड अप्ट इट्स एंटे इन अयोध्या एंड द कांग्रेस वॉज इंक्रीजिंगली ऑन द बैक फुट बाल ठाकरे जम्प इन टू द फ्रे एंड अलाइंड हिमसेल्फ विद द हिंदुत्व कॉज इन नाइनटीन एटी सेवन द विले पार्ले असेंबली सीट इन मुंबई वॉज वन बाय द शिव सेना on the hindutva plank bjp leader pramod mahajan worked out an alliance with bal thakre an alliance that survives till today thakre often targeted the minority community in its speeches but now he had become more outspoken and direct in the run up to the babri demolition shiv sena's anti minority stand reached its peak and then came some really controversial statements by bala saheb in the sena mouthpiece samna bal thakre wrote that it would make him very proud if shiv sena became the ones who bring down babri masjid the statement created a huge ruckus this was followed by the sena's role in the mumbai riots the justice shri krishna commission report accused the sena of taking an active role in the riots भारतीय जनता पार्टी के वरिष्ठ नेताओं ने कहा कि ये हमने नहीं किया है शायद शिवसैनिक हो सकते हैं बाला साहब तुरंत मुझे फोन पे बोल दिए अगर ऐसा कहते हैं तो मेरा स्टेटमेंट आप दीजिए 
अगर शिव सैनिकों ने यह काम किया है बाबरी गिराने का तो मुझे फक्र है मुझे गर्व है उस शिव सैनिकों का इन द 1987 इलेक्शंस एटी पार्टी कैंपेन ओपनली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द नेम ऑफ हिंदुइज्म दिस डिन गो डाउन वेल विद कोर्ट्स नॉट ओनली विद इलेक्शन कैंसिल्ड बट बाल ठाकरे इज राइट टू वोट वो सस्पेंडेड the court observed that thakre's actions were leading to an increase in hostility in society but this in no way managed to dent bal thakre's popularity with the marathi manus wherever he went and whenever he spoke there were huge crowds that gathered to greet him finally in 1995 in maharashtra shiv sena in alliance with the bjp came to power even at the center there was the bjp led nda government and the shiv sena got three ministries in the government Manohar Joshi was appointed speaker of the Lok Sabha. The Shiv Sena had reached the height of its dominance. The names in contention for the mantle of the Shiv Sena were all from within Bal Thakre's immediate family. They were his sons and nephew. And a series of accidents and deaths left Bal Thakre shaken. Succession talk to the eventual leadership of the Shiv Sena had already begun by then. A tussle had started between an aging Bal Thakre's son Uddhav and his nephew Raj. The most people felt Raj was the smarter of the two, but Bal Thakre was more and more leaning towards his son Uddhav. After 1997 BMC elections, the rift between Uddhav and Raj Thakre was quite visible, but despite that, Bal Thakre chose to ignore it. Finally in 2003 Uddhav Thakre was made executive president of the party. Bal Thakre tried to convince Shiv Sena that it was not he who had chosen Uddhav over Raj but everyone knew what was the truth. This was the signal for Raj Thakre to angrily break away from the Shiv Sena and form his own party the Maharashtra Navnirman Sena. After getting a lukewarm response in subsequent local elections Raj resorted to the same tactics as the shiv sena to carve his political space history would never leniently judge the contribution bal thakre made to the national polity because for all his grit and fortitude bal thakre's legacy would always be that of a fighter who fought to stay apart